Hello everyone. Welcome to the PISP Solutions. Today um, we'll start with the RTA automation that is return to accrual automation in CRCS. Now basically what is RTA and why do we use this RTA in CRCS? We'll see that. And how do we use this? Okay, so let's get started. Uh, RTA basically uh, calculates the difference between prior year provision and uh, the tax return as filed. So uh, it provides the ability to true up the prior year provision amounts. The tax provision uh, is automatically populated in the form and the return data uh, what you want to input it you can do it manually or uh, you can load it in the application. Uh, here the system process the return to accrual in period 13 or P13 or it is called the RTA period. Any data changes to the input schedule, schedule needs to be followed by consolidation to determine the return to accrual adjustment required in the current period provision for income taxes. For example, like current provision, deferred provision, and so on. So the RTA may be computed and booked during different quarters depending on the entity. For example, during a calendar year, uh, Canada Canadian entities may book the adjustment in quarter 3, US entity may book it in quarter 4. Therefore, the system is set up to compute the return to accrual difference only when a user populates the data, sets the destination period and fiscal year during RTA automation and the consolidates uh, both the RTA period, target period and the year where you want to in input the adjustment or the adjustment is needed to be posted. So all those consolidation need to be done for all the, all the periods. So you use RTA automation screen uh, to define the rules for uh, copying the RTA adjustments. You enter source and uh, destination scenario and reporting standard members for uh, copying the RTA balances. So by default RTA amounts are calculated uh, using the current year tax rates and uh, the application here allows for multiple years to be analyzed and true ups posted in the current period. Ok now we'll see how to do this in the CRCS application. So under text provisional national under package Here I am looking for FY21 and uh, P12 period. So if you see this is my all, uh, all the amounts that is automated adjustment and the total amount. The amount which is getting lo loaded what all adjustment you did and the total amount for all my and this is my current provision. So my current provision in P12 is 5568243. And this is the tax or the provision out of this tax we have already paid. So everything is done for P12 period now. Now at the P13 period that is when the return is filed. That is the RTA period for FY21 only. Now if you see. Let me open in both instances so that it is easy for uh, you to compare the current provision. For P12 and RTA period. FI21 RTA. Here I'll open P12. So if you look um, at P12 period, here the income tax, uh, net income before tax is 33958199. This is RTA for the same 33958199. So the income, uh, net income before tax is same. Now out of these some of the losses or some adjustments needs to be done uh, because of that our current provision in RTA is uh, in P12 our current provision is 
फाइव फाइव सिक्स एट टू फोर थ्री मीन आउट ऑफ दिस वी हैव पेड द टैक्स एवरीथिंग इज डन बट एडजस्टमेंट हैज बीन डन दिस इज द बुक डम आउट नाउ दिन वेन वी आर फाइलिंग द रिटर्न वी हैव डन सम एडजस्टमेंट एंड द करंट प्रोविजन इज फोर फोर जीरो थ्री सिक्स नाइन सेवन सो डिफरेंस नाउ वील लाइक आई एल डू द जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई एल पुट सम एडजस्टमेंट and we'll see how uh, this amount will now what uh, what uh, rta differences will look like and how this will help uh, how this will populate in the next year suppose here the fine and penalty of 25000 but now i found uh, i found the it should be 33000 similarly here i have won uh, 22000 some changes while filing the return we are doing if it is if needs to be done here suppose i have i'm doing 57000 here i have 11000 okay so likewise now i'll save this I have done the changes in the RTA period. So, uh, as I told you in the uh, starting, that uh, RTA calculates a difference between prior year provision and the tax return as filed. So, I am filing the tax return in RTA period. So, if you see the provision here is now four four zero three six nine seven, and in uh, as per P twelve, that is here it is. That is the prior year of five five six eight two four three. So there is a difference. Okay, so some adjustment needs to be done now. How we'll uh, see that? So first we'll run the business rule to uh, effect to put the effect what of the changes what we have done. So I'll run the business rule for first for P twelve period and F I twenty one period. P twelve and F I twenty one year. So uh, my entry is L E one zero one. Scenario is actual. First time running the consolidation for P twelve and F Y twenty one. Because in F I twenty one only we are making the changes, but in R T A. So first I'll run the consolidation for F I twenty one, but P twelve period. so uh, as we also discussed that you need to consolidate both the rta period the target period that will be p12 for the next year the fy22 and the year where adjustment it needs to be posted so all the year consolidation needs to be run so here i have run this consolidation now i'll run the consolidation for rta period that is p13 So my entity is LE one zero one. Scenario is actual. Period is P thirteen. That is RTA period, and here year is FY twenty two. Here year is FY twenty one, because uh, for FY twenty one only I have run for P twelve. Now I'll run for P thirteen. Okay, now we look at the RTA form. After running the consolidation, I need to know, uh, look uh, here. We look here if our scenario is actual. My year is FI twenty one. Entity is uh, LE one zero one. That is operations USD. Consolidation. I have taken entity input. Jurisdiction is US domicile. Multi gap as local gap. Currency as entity currency. Okay, so these are all my accounts and P for P twelve RTA and this is the RTA difference. For P twelve, if you look, this is my current income tax expense per return. It is five five six eight two four three. This amount, and as per RTA, it is four four zero eight seven three six. Means while uh, at the time of return filing, uh, I saw that this is my uh, RTA amount, and this is my as per P twelve amount. So the difference here, RTA difference. If you see this column, RTA difference is one one five nine. Five zero five. So now this 
needs to be populated or automated to the next year because uh, this has been filed booked amount now the difference amount needs to be booked in the next year right so how we'll do this automation uh, and this automation is coming maybe due to, due to changes which we have done in the while filing the return or before filing the return so uh, i have done some changes in the permanent differences the temporary difference so I have entered here the GALTI and FDII and uh, this here also that is fines and penalty 33,000 but as per P12 uh, the final penalty were 1 lakh and here I have as per RT I have that is P13 I have entered 33,000 here 22 here 21 that's why the differences are coming I have made some changes in the permanent differences side also make some adjustment here this was the permanent and now we look at the temporary differences now if you look this uh, lease liability NC no uh, no amount in P12 but adjustment 51,000 is there because of this difference is coming simultaneously other changes are there because of that we found the difference now this RTA we will see how uh, this R RTA or the current tax return difference needs to be included in the next year so for that we will have to check the configuration first under application configuration here it is RTA automation and now for FI21 operation the posting period is P12 and the return year we are filing the returns FI20 but I want to check for FI22 now because I want the auto FY21 has showing some RTA differences. Now that need to be populated to FY22. That's why I first I'm selecting FY22 as my year. And now I'm seeing okay, so this is my posting period which has already been selected. That P12 and FY21 year needs to be pulled here in uh, means the RTA auto uh, or it should be automation we are doing like P12. Uh, and FY21 amount for the US domicile needs to be pulled in. Uh, P12 FI22 year. Okay, so we'll save this. So in this way, you need to first do the automation. We'll go back again. Now under FI22, we'll check. Uh, check the P, uh, period is P12. My other dimensions are same. That is entity is operations US. is LE101. Consolidation is entity input. Jurisdiction is US domicile. Multi gap as local gap. Currency is entity currency. I'll look under current provision. Now I'll run the business rule for this period. FI22 and P12. My entity is LE101, scenario is actual. Okay, launch. All right. Now we'll check that RTA difference. First, we'll open here in this FI22. Okay, so this is my RTA difference 1159506. This is my RTA amount. This is my P12 amount. Now we'll check here in FI22. Here the current provision is 5051378. The net income before tax here is 3039904. Some 
we have some permanent difference, temporary difference. Now this is my taxable income, my current year tax rate is 21%. Out of that current tax on taxable income, if you see here, 21% on, on, on this amount is 7098439. Now there are some total tax credit that is 908454. So it will... Uh, this is my current tax and we have got some tax credits and then you have the current tax expense per return as this much. Now we look for the additional current tax provision source, manual and calculated. So under calculated. So if you look, the return to accrual current tax expense total. So here it is my return to accrual current tax expense is 1159506 which is showing in our FY22 P12 period and the entities operation USD. And this was my RTA difference 1159506. Now that has been populated in the next year that is automated through the RTA automation that is 1159506 and the effect has been taken in the next year and then you are reaching till the current provision that means here it was current tax expense per return and out of that you are reducing all these amounts and then you are reaching till here that is 5051377 is my current provision and on that now you need to pay the tax So in deferred tax, how much tax needs to be deferred here you can um, look at like deferred tax here it is showing as 271546 and then temporary difference here it is showing as Losing balance here to one three six one eight five zero. So here, if you see the RTA, that is total temporary difference one four two nine eight five zero. So this was coming over here one four two nine eight five zero, and the temporary one three six one eight five zero. It is coming over here. The difference of these two which is you can find in the temporary difference here you can input the tax rates and what are the current tax rate as per the prior year current tax rate for US domicile was 21% here for the current year also current tax rate was 21% so accordingly the, uh, the tax will be calculated so in this way you can go and check in the RTA also, RTA form. So this was the different 1159506. Now you can check here the same for FY22. So that amount must have been adjusted and RTA differences you can find here is 618.985. Okay, so in this way, uh, 
we do the calculation so for that you need to remember some uh, of the procedure like how to do it and why rda has been done as you as we discussed that here the system process uh, the rda in period 13 or p 13 and we'll now quickly summarize it so uh, basically it calculates the difference between prior year provision and the tax return as filed and and it is done uh, to true up the prior year provision amounts and that tax provision as we saw it is automated uh, automatically populated in the form and the return data can be manually input or you can load through the application and for that uh, what we did was okay so here it is saying to define the rta automation rules from the home page you need to select the application and then the uh, click the configuration so uh, we did the rta automation through this so first option is to uh, click to modify the pov for which the rta aut automation has been configured and then click apply then from the drop down during under the posting period you need to select the period we want to post the return adjustment for each jurisdiction and then you need to consolidate for your return year 1 2 and for the rta adjustments so this was a, uh, so first you need to run the uh, do the configuration uh, that is the rta automation then you, to, uh, you need to run the business rule for p12 fi21 then for uh, uh, rta fi21 that is p13 then you will see the differences between the p12 period and the p13 period and that amount difference will populate in the rta differences then we'll run the automation through auto rta automation the amounts get carry forward to the next year uh, and then again we'll run the consolidation we'll see the difference in the rta form then we'll uh, run the business rule for p12 fi22 period and then we'll check the current provision that is that rta amount difference get adjusted you can see in the current provision form so uh, in this way you can check and uh, calculate your rta and uh, the trcs helps in uh, providing us the easily provide uh, we can do rta automation and uh, we can check the result for rta so this was our today's topic now um, we'll cover the next topic in our next class thank you for your time thank you